This is a Cambridge Nanotech AOD system, atomic layer deposition system. It is used to deposit thin film of high key materials. Why high key materials? Because in order to miniaturize transistors and to extend Moore's law, you need, to you need to decrease the gate oxide thickness to keep the capacitance high. However, you cannot keep doing this forever simply because the thinner gate oxide will lead to higher leakage current, thus higher power consumption. It will also decrease the threshold voltage. So in order to decrease the transistor size and keep the gate capacitance high, you need to use the high K materials. This tool can deposit um, aluminum oxide and hafnium oxide as high K materials. It can deposit those thin films very uniform and precise in instruments. It is fast and user friendly. Now let's begin. Before you log in, you need to take a look at the log sheets. If everything is fine from the last user, you then log in. Okay, once you log into the computer, you need to go to the chest room to check the nitrogen pressure and the pump status. So this is the chest room. The room number is 2337. Keep this in mind. The chest room is to store chemical gases, water supply, chiller, vacuum pumps, and so on. The gases may be flammable and poisonous, and the equipment may use high electrical voltage. So any leak of gas and electricity will result in safety issues or even death. So please, before you go inside, look for the suspicious odors and uh, liquid on the ground. If you find any of this, please immediately contact the staff. Now we are in the chest room. In the chest room, we should make sure two things. First, touch this pump. You should feel the pump is warm and vibrating. That means this is working fine. Second, is nitrogen. The purpose of using nitrogen is twofold. First, after ALD deposition, we use nitrogen to purge the chamber. Second, the air and the oil vapor could back streaming into the chamber if no nitrogen is used. That's what causing chamber contaminated. So by using nitrogen all the time, even at the idle mode, we could prevent this from happening. And you see two tanks here. Both of them have a high purity, five nines, which is much purer than house nitrogen. And the house nitrogen doesn't meet uh, the requirement for the system. So this tank should be always open. The valve should be always open. So you should make sure the valve is open and the pressure should be between these two black bars uh, which is about 10 psi and 40 psi. You should also record this pressure number on the log sheets later. Another thing I want to mention is do not open this tank. This tank is used only when this tank is empty. So during swapping this empty bottle with another full bottle, we still have uh, nitrogen flowing to the chamber. Now let's go back. This is the software to run the tool. You'll notice the nitrogen flows at 5 sccm. The chamber pressure is around 70 millitone. This metal shield is a heat guard to prevent users from directly touching the hard lid by accident. Everything looks fine. Now we need to write down on the lock sheet the date and the name. 
in the citadel chamber pipelines precursor bottles to the desired temperatures it uh, takes about 10 minutes to heat it up during the waiting time I would like to mention some issues to you first there should be no flammable material on the shield or anywhere around the top second there should be no photoresist and the polymers on the samples you're putting into the chamber to avoid the contamination third you should always use the clean metal tweezers and of course the temperature should not be set over 200 degrees C for the chamber and 150 degrees C for the pipeline. I also have uh, some other issues to mention. You see, here are three fans. Make sure they are spinning. That means the air is sucking into the cabinet and exit through this exhaust pipe. So if there's any leak inside, the, the gas won't come out. Inside of the cabinet, we also have um, nitrogen dioxide, which is uh, hazardous. So we have a detector here. Make sure the green light is on. If the light light is on, you should uh, immediately exit the clean room and uh, inform the staff. Here inside the cabinet are the precursors for the high care materials. Uh, one is for hafnium oxide and another one is uh, for aluminum oxide. The one for the aluminum oxide is uh, pyrophoric. That means it will ignite when exposed to the air. So please close the valve and uh, open the valve gently when you use it. Now the temperatures are up and the system is ready to run. So first, open the valve of the precursor bottle. Put on your mask in order to avoid the contamination of your wafer. Click the vent button. Now you see the button toggles to pump button and the pressure goes up and quickly goes to the atmosphere pressure. Put aside the metal shield and lift the lid. Put the wafer to the center of the chamber be very careful, the chamber is extremely hot. Close the lid and put back the metal shield. Now click the pump button to pump down the chamber pressure. When the chamber pressure goes down around 75 millitone, you right click this area to load a recipe. Pick a desired one, click OK to load it. Then you click start button to run this recipe. Now you see this button becomes green and also toggles to abort button. The other three buttons become inactive. Now the system is stabilizing. The stabilization is over and you see the first pulse comes in. That means the precursor is pulse injected into the chamber. Now here the second pulse comes in. That means the water vapor is pulse injected into the chamber. By, do, by doing this again and again many times, really depending on the number you set in the recipe. After that, the process stops. Once done, click the vent button to vent the chamber. Put aside the metal shield. 
open the lid very carefully remove the wafer with a clean metal tweezer remember it is very hot 200 degrees C make sure you put it in a clean safe place close the lid put back the metal shield and clean the pump button to pump down the chamber click this red button to close all the heaters and you see the temperatures are set to zero last don't forget to close the valve of the precursor bottle before you log out make sure you write down all the informations on the log sheets then select the account log out and you're done